Hi everyone, my name's Jacob. I have a background in design and because of that, last year I had the amazing opportunity to visit the Autodesk Technology Center. It was such an amazing experience and this is a series of videos I have made about my top takeaways from that time. So welcome to video number two. Let's dive in. So we are now in the robot division of P9 and this is Heather. Yes, these are the collaboratives. So this is a UR10, so 10 for 10 kilo payload, and that's a UR5 for the 5 kilo payload. Um, this one's named Bishop, that one's named Junior. This is a, um, a robots and uh, AI project. So uh, this robot has a camera and a gripper. One thing that Autodesk is exploring is using uh, simulation for artificial intelligence. So uh, what we did is we have models of Legos. So if we have a 3D model of a Lego, yeah in a virtual environment, yep. we just make a bucket, a virtual bucket of a bunch of virtual Legos, virtually dump them onto a virtual table, then you have a virtual camera with a virtual gripper that looks down at the virtual Legos. Yeah. And you can run a machine learning model on trying to pick up those Legos. So the little gripper will try and pick it up, and with physics, like we'll know whether or not it picks the Lego up. So it'll try a bajillion times, but it can do that in like seconds, because it's a computer and figure out how to pick robots, uh, pick Legos up. Yeah. Then we take that USB stick with the mm. learned model, plug it into this real robot. So now we have a real camera with a real gripper and it will use what it learned from simulation and say, oh, that looks like a Lego. Those look like the two sides of the Lego. If I go like this, I can pick that Lego up again. And so we were able to train. So this robot had never seen a real like meat space Lego. Yeah and was able to recognize them using simulated, we call it synthetic data. So I don't know about you, but training robots with simulation and machine learning is incredibly, incredibly cool. But it does raise one issue. And that issue is if robots become too good and too smart, will they start replacing our jobs? There is an estimation by 2025 we will lose 5 million jobs worldwide to automation. Now while that might seem alarming at first, it is actually not a bad thing. What happens when robots and automation come in to take away the menial jobs, it frees up our time to focus on far more interesting and complex work. Things like solving climate change, but also more empathetic jobs that robots simply can't do. So automation is definitely not a bad thing, in fact I would argue it is an incredibly great thing. And it is going to make jobs far more exciting and interesting in the future for everyone.